This is Johan Venardi, uh, social mentor and business entrepreneur, uh, business mentor and social entrepreneur, however you want to say that. I do online coaching. I help people with mindset and building their business online and offer business opportunities, teach them how to do that. And uh, very active in social entrepreneurship where we address major global social issues uh, through a profit-driven business model. Today I gonna talk to you. People ask me what are the key steps to prospecting? What are the things I should remember and what are the things that I should leave out or what's not so important? three key steps into into prospecting is well first of all you need to put your hat on you always need to look for the opportunity and the chance doesn't matter where you are but there's a right and a wrong way to do that but here's what the key steps is to making it successful first number one do not prejudge does not matter if the person is poor rich wealthy, super busy, huge businessman or woman, very, very well known in the community or somebody that can barely pay their own bills. You do not know what are the pain that these people are having and how your business and your opportunity can change their lives. For some, it would be financial improvement or financial freedom for others it would be time freedom. So never, never prejudge. Your product and your service can be a fit for everyone. Part of my daily affirmations is that that I don't prejudge my clients and that I match my product or opportunity to their needs. <coughs> Excuse me. Number two, always go A to Z. What do I mean by that? You have a process that you follow. Don't change the process because the person is a friend, a very good friend. Don't change the process because this is a wealthy businessman or somebody is trying to control the conversation. You have a process that you follow. My process is simple. People, I talk with people once we establish that um, that it's, it's it would be a great fit for us to have a chat about this. I have them fill out a form to work with me so I can learn more about them and save us time on our call. Then on the call, I determine further if they would be a fit, and if I feel that they could be a fit for our business and our team, and our business is a fit for them, I present a short call, after which, if they want to learn more, I present a video, and then we talk and we give them their different options of joining or not joining at all, um, and it's up to them. I'm just looking to see who's open, but I have a process. I don't change my process for no one not even for very good friends or people who's been in my previous company with me. Um, and it doesn't really matter what, if it's not just network marketing, it could be any sales process or any, but if you have a business that you are marketing or a product or a service, keep following the process, always go A to Z, because you never know what is in there that resonates with that person. And remember that people are not so much joining for what it is, it, they are joining for what it will do for them. Lastly, number three, um, and this is super, super, super important. If they are giving you a reason why they want to join or why they are curious, you need to work on that and help them put that into fruition in being able to join and be part of the team. That is what our job is, is to help people overcome that initial fear and fear of rejection, fear of failure, and help them step into their success. So help them with that. Focus on that. However, part of that is if they suddenly then have an excuse of why not they want to join and you know that the product or service is a fit 
and they've told you the reasons why they really want to do that and now they suddenly tell you why they cannot do that either for not having time not wanting to make time money lack of money anything like that do not believe their excuse don't believe their story your story is better than their story you are giving them a wonderful opportunity don't go down to that level offer it from a point and a perspective of strength that you are offering them a significant chance to improve their life and if people really want that and they really really want what they said they would want to join in the first place then those excuses don't really count so remember that number one never prejudge give the opportunity to everyone from super wealthy to very poor always go A to Z through your process don't change it for anyone number three focus on their pain and how you can help them overcome that and make it better and if they have an excuse of why they cannot do it when you know it's a fit don't believe their story yours is better you have the better opportunity that you are offering them thanks guys this is Johan um, today my call to action is simple to you to um, go to my website rugbydo.com um, or johanvenardi.com click on the work with me tab fill out that form and let's start the conversation and see if you are a fit for our business and our team and if we feel mutually that it could be and that the business is a fit for you then we'll go into the process of sharing information with you and help you to start a business to help you eliminate some of that pain in your life and gain the pleasures in your life that you are looking forward to accomplish and why you would be listening to this any comments um, love to uh, hear from you guys please give me your hearts and likes and please share if i delivered some value with for you today thanks so much you signing off bye